the folks know who I am, they know me by my mug, and I don't even have to tell the uh, bartenders my number anymore because th they just know my mug. For me, it just makes me even more part of that family and that fellowship. It's a great thing to be part of on the way home. You can't get bored because the beers change. The only thing that stays the same is my mug. So our mug club is all pottery mugs, mostly by potters down in Seagrove. And so when we were doing our Kickstarter back in 2012, one of the reward levels to be a mug club. And we didn't want to do just, we didn't want to do glass mugs, we didn't want to do steel mugs, because those have been done. We want to do something a little bit different. And somebody said to us, they're like, well, we've got a community of potters nine miles away from you that make practical pottery. So right now on our wall, we've got 210 mugs by, I want to say about 25, 30 different potters. The studio that we are in today is one we have worked in now for three generations. My grandfather was one of the first to work in this studio and I continue to learn from him as a young child through today as far as making pots. And my father uh, was also instrumental in teaching me a lot of the fundamentals in clay. The opportunity to make pieces for Four Saints Brewery when uh, they wanted something more personal, something that's more local, kind of food to table kind of concept, but they've taken the extra effort to go into finding and resourcing the materials for them to make these quality crafted beers, but also the potters working in this community to make select items that are very unique, that people can use and reference as far as their vessel, they can enjoy those wonderful brews that they have at the brewery. I think is really a special connection and how we can work together and complement each other has really been a, a great opportunity as craftsmen. But I think what they've done is just like resourcing some of the materials they need to make their beer. Uh, it's the same way our potters have spent a lot of time and we work in small batch format. Using these materials, yes it costs more to work in a small batch, but you also have some end products through the colors and the glazes that the potters have chosen to make and uh, apply to the finished product has really made it unique and special. People want something that's unique. They don't want something that's just common. And I think that's what really uh, has made it special because they have a story with it. They have a connection with it. And they remember the day that they were able to come in and use that vessel to drink with it. And it makes a great memory. But each individual mug can represent that person. The mug is kind of wide in the middle, so am I. So. But it is nice to have a place that has such an individualized product that you love to drink out of, you're proud to drink out of. You, you, every time I drink out of my mug, I think of where the community was 10 years ago as opposed to where it is now. It's just a really neat thing to say, I'm part of the Four Saints Mug Club.